what are some of the ways to best store precious metals investments? Yeah, a lot of times when I talk to different people who, who get started in investing in gold, usually it starts with a couple hundred dollars, maybe a couple thousand dollars. And I recommend that everyone does do have some physical gold at home, just like I recommend people have physical cash at home, too. I mean, not not in any crazy amounts, but, you know, you never know when you're going to need it. Uh, I guess for. For some people, obviously, they're fortunate enough that the couple thousands becomes tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or, or even a seven figure sum. Um, and, and we do have a, quite a few of those customers. With those customers, I would recommend that you do something a little different. Um, and obviously, you know, the, for the smaller customers, home safe is probably fine. Safe to deposit box is also fine, too. I know there's a lot of doomers who say, hey, there's going to be a bank holiday. And I'm not a believer in that. I mean, the, the likelihood of that happening where the bank's going to seize your asset is probably not likely. Um, I know there's a lot of people in the precious metals industry that like to like to say that, but I believe a safety deposit box is perfectly fine. But let's say you 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 got to the amount when you're, you have a hundred thousand or a million dollars, some large amount in your house. Um, ideally, obviously not the best, not the best solution because, you know, chances are you're going to go on vacation. Chances are you're going to go to work. You're going to run errands. Uh, maybe someone heard that you have a million dollars in your house. I mean, like I said, all it takes is one guy breaking in. Hopefully it never happens. You know, if, if the guy has a knife or a gun, then then your million dollars is gone. So we do offer a couple solutions for that. Um, one is one gold, as I mentioned, is a vaulted solution uh, where in one gold, you're essentially owning part of a larger, let's say commercial or, or industrial bar. So you imagine these big gold bars, big silver bars that you see in movies, you're owning either a whole one of those if you have enough ounces or a fraction of those. That's one option. Another option too, is we have a, another subsidiary called Citadel. And what Citadel is, is you actually have ownership of your metal, you ship it into Atmex, we authenticate it and we store it in a Brinks vault. So you'll have a little area in the Brinks vault where it's actually stored, insured, um, audited, I mean, armed guards 24-7. Um, and then you have a little, almost like a cubby within a Brinks vault. And, and that's a solution I would recommend if you have a, a large dollar amount of precious metals.